know how frequently I'll be back, but here I am. Here's a video. I made a page. Yay, me! So, um, this is a page that I covered up. I just had some, I think, distress stains, and I just blobbed it on and, like, blew it with a straw. and It was ugly, so I covered it. So I used some golden gesso, and while the gesso is still wet, I added some fluid acrylics. The green is green gold, I believe, which is a golden fluid acrylic, and then the blue is an, a Utrecht aquamarine, I believe. And um, just kind of in a kind of circular pattern, I'm just blending them out. As you can see, the green and the blue blended to create that kind of sea foamy color, which is not really the uh, color I want. So I'm going to do lots of blending here and uh, just picking up a little bit of gesso just to lighten that, that blue up. So what's happened with me in the last couple months? So, you know, I graduated from college and I had uh, some hideous depression, had a hard time creating anything, even looking in this room, I had a hard time with it. Um, and just, you know, I'm using a little piece of sponge, I think. And this is some dark blue something. It's liquid fluid acrylic. Fluid acrylic and indigo by Golden, and I'm just sponging it around the edges. So um, I'm still doing the same job that I got uh, earlier this year. I love it, and I got a new car because my old car was it was on on the decline. It was a Chrysler, and it had like 120,000 miles on it, which was like crazy because it's a Chrysler. But I loved my car, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm back. I, I'm, I'm sorry I have been gone for so long. I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how many videos I'll be getting. I doubt I'll be fairly regular for a while, but um, at least I got this video out. So, hooray. Consider it my Christmas present to you. Or, hell, my Christmas present to me. I was able to make something. So this page was inspired, and just you know, I, I mixed some of that ultramarine, I think, or maybe that's not ultramarine. No, that's, oops, I'm going to knock everything, aquamarine. That's that Utrecht aquamarine. A little bit of that ultramarine, and then some white, I think. So um, I'm mixing some of the ultramarine with some pearlescent mixative by Golden, and a little bit of glazing fluid just to give the whole page a glaze. So this page was kind of inspired. I was watching a couple different videos. One was by France Papillon, which you will see the inspiration toward the end with the final uh, product of the page. So this is just some thread. I'm going around creating some loose circles. And um, the other inspiration was Packer Dye. And I was watching a video of hers that had some all this texture and circles, and uh, it was blue and orange. And uh, I tend to love blue and green and orange together so I was like oh I want to play with blue and orange which is the first time in a very long time that I have said I want to do anything in this room I was actually kind of worried that some of my like paints would be dried up and but uh yeah they're all still here so as you can see I tiny attached that uh, thread in a couple places and now I'm using some sepia archival ink with a um, pot holder hexagon thing that I'm using as a stamp and then uh, some script stamp with the same color. This is quinacridone nicolazo gold or as some people call it quinacridone and I don't like that it's quinacridone so there you go and uh, quinacridone nicolazo gold and then a little bit of paprika I think tattered angels shimmer glaze or something like that. Is it paprika? Yep yeah I did it. So I just uh, mushed those two together and created this. This is on watercolor paper, and uh, so I sprayed it down first with water. And now I'm just using my paper trimmer and creating some paper strips in various widths. And um, this is vintage photo distress ink. I'm going right around the edges just to darken it up a little bit. It really didn't work that well because the paint is acrylic and didn't just doesn't stick that well on top of acrylic so um, yeah that stinks so I'll, I'll end up fixing that toward the end of the video but uh, yeah so uh, the good thing is I'm going right around the edges which darkens up the edges of the paper 
um, because the white edges really make a difference. I missed one and I ended up fixing it. So, but I noticed it when I thought I was done. So, this is a little piece of deli paper, and what I'm doing right now is I knew I wanted to sew these papers together, these strips of paper together, but because it's watercolor paper, it's very thick paper. So I put a little bit of ATG down, and um, I stuck it to the deli paper. So the reason I did that was so that way it would have something for all of these to adhere to so that they stayed together while I ran it through the machine, but without adding very much bulk since these are so very thick and there's a couple spots where there's like two and three layers deep. So um, that made this very easy to do. So I took it over to the sewing machine, brought it back, and then tore away most of that deli paper. Whatever was hiding back there that you couldn't see, I just left. Um, but so good little uh, technique. You can do it with tissue paper too. It's just a little more fragile, so maybe double it. But um, yeah, to the the deli paper worked out nicely. As you can see, I put some Fabri-Tac on here, and I'm just gluing this right down. I just wanted to play with abstract art. I didn't want anything like nothing. I didn't want to make a picture. I just wanted art for the sake of art. I wanted to play with color and shape and I wanted to break it down and didn't want to use any embellishments made by a certain brand or a certain company or I just wanted to take things that I had made and turn it into art. So these little circle things are like they're essentially trash. They, they I don't know if they used to be on like a shower curtain like the rings. Of, I, I, I don't know what they are. They're like little metal grommets. So um, I just glued them down with Fabri-Tac and I glued down some Tim Holtz um, chit chat stickers that says go for it in each of the circles. And this is a little bit of archival ink in jet black. And I'm just going right around the edges just to darken it up a little bit to help that gradient effect pop even a little bit more. So the edges are really dark, then darker blue, then that teal green color in the middle and then it all pops against that reddish orange color. So this is the Donna Salazar Mixed Media Inks uh, in leather and I love this stuff because it's really thick and I've mentioned before that it's kind of like a paint and an ink mixed together and um, so I just smushed a little bit on my craft mat, sprayed a little bit of water down and uh, used it kind of like a marker with a very um, fine tipped brush just to go right around the edges to help darken it up and help them pop against one another so that that way there was some contrast between some of those rectangles. This is a really pretty simple page so it's not a very long video but um, it kind of meant a lot to me to be able to actually make it so you know I if you guys ever you know tell me and I know a lot of you have you know I have a hard time starting I have a hard time uh, you know just doing things I I get it now. I get it. I didn't get it before. I get it now. And uh, I think part of it is just don't pressure yourself. Go in, give it a shot. If that doesn't work, walk out. Walk away. I can't tell you how many times I came into my craft room and then walked right back out. And that's totally okay. I was just not ready to do it. So, as you can see, it's helping pop these rectangles out. Uh, so I only glued them down right in the center, kind of right around the stitching. So the edges of these pop up. So it's kind of really cool. It's pretty dimensional. All right, so now I'm going back in with that um, Tattered Angels Paprika Shimmer Glaze again. And um, I wanted these to have a little bit more sparkle because I'd mixed the Shimmer Glaze with the Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. Um, it wasn't that shimmery, and honestly, th I'm not crazy about this stuff. It, it's not that shimmery, if you want me to be honest. The shimmer is so subtle in them that they almost just kind of look more wet than they do shimmery. So that stinks, but it's okay. At least it's it's kind of shimmery. Yeah, it looks wet. It's dry, but it looks wet. Whatever. I'm happy with it. So, and I used a very, very, very fine brush just to go in all of those little circles. Had I been so inclined, I was thinking about using glossy accents in those rings, but 
eh, I was good with them the way they are, kind of industrial. So there's the page. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for waiting for me, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.